Well, so that's our friggin' business. What do you think? Are you in? Oh, I don't know. I just, I just got married. I'm gonna have to talk to my wife. You wanna talk to your wife? Yeah. You wanna talk to your wife? Yeah. Okay. What about you? You want to talk to your wife? You good to go? Yeah, I thought so. I actually spoke to Tyler earlier, Teresa, if you remember, and we began by asking him what made him want to make and record that particular little exercise. Take a look. You know, it, it, what, we, what we just saw there was a video that we put together to kind of, uh, well, Travis was reprising his role of Eddie Snell. And uh, so he had the idea of putting it out on video, you know, for... Uh, several times he'd done it in person, and that was really a fun role that he would do to help make sales training interesting instead of it being boring, and he was really engaging. So we decided to put it together on video and, and make it something fun and interesting for people to see. It, we're looking at him climbing onto a Hummer right now. Is that part of the uh, <laughs> the video experience you guys are putting together? So this was sort of a way of introing him at your, at your sales events. Is that right? It, exactly. You know, it was a way, you know, that Eddie Snow character, you know, with Daisy Dukes and the mullet and everything um, was a way to, to introduce <laughs> certain funny. sales concepts in a, in a really funny and <laughs> different really way. It really was funny. So I think now, it captured him pretty well. There was, a, there was a chill. And so you wanted us to really know this part of Travis, your friend, that they, whom you knew for a long yeah. time. And, and you knew Tr Jody and Travis. Is that right? I, I did. I knew, I knew Travis much more than I knew Jody. I didn't know Jody well. Um, it was much, a little bit more just association, um, you know, a little bit of association with her. Did, did he ever express his concerns about her with you? He, you know, he did. He would talk about how, you know, she wouldn't leave him alone. Just, you know, some of the things that we would talk about as we were, you know, eating lunch or doing different things. Um, and it was just, you know, sometimes it would express frustrations about, you know, about things that she was doing. Uh, now, I want to show you something also that's chilling here. This is actually from Jody's MySpace page. At the time of Travis's death, he's in his Eddie Snell mode there. And this was posted by Jody, we believe, just after she had killed Travis. Mark, I wonder if you have any questions for our guest. Yeah, Tyler, I don't think this case comes down to whether Travis was abusive or not. I think that that's just the defense's tactic of making him somehow look bad. I don't think it comes down to that. However, based on what you know of him, is there any truth at all about any of the stuff that they're alleging? You know, in all the interaction I had with him, he was always positive, engaging, energetic. I, to be quite honest, never saw him get mad. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's, it's hard to see that side. You know, obviously you never know. I'm not with him 24 seven, but I, every interaction I had with him was uplifting, was engaging, was fun. And uh, so it's, it's difficult to hear some of these things and, and uh, say, I just, I can't see it. Tracy, you have a question? Yeah, I know you didn't know Jody well, but you were around them as a couple. What was the vibe? Did you pick up on anything about them as a couple? You know, there were times where we would be, you know, hanging out at his house and she would come over to the house and just kind of stay in the other room. It was, it was always, there was always some tension there. Uh, so it was, it was always just a, a little bit awkward, a little bit different. Jenny, how about you? First of all, I'm so sorry about your friend. He's just, he's adorable. He seems so funny and charismatic. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's a shame. Yeah. But um, yeah, my question is, was there any sort of defining moment where you felt like Travis was done with the relationship or was trying to extricate himself? Yes. I, I mean, as far as defining moment, I, I you know, wouldn't have been there for, for that necessarily. But I remember you know, sitting down at, at lunch one day and him just talking about that he's, you know, he's, he's frustrated and he, and he's wanting to move on and he was wanting to find a, uh, you know, a great relationship and, and some, some potential marriage material. And, uh, you know, so I know that that was something that was a really strong goal of his and uh, that he really wanted to, wanted to achieve.